Bloomberg Educated Investor is brought to you by DBFX from Deutsche Bank. Bollinger Bands are technical indicators often used in the world of foreign exchange. Made popular by John Bollinger in the 1980s, they measure volatility and breakouts in the market. Bollinger Bands have volatility effectively embedded into their formula. The study calculates a simple moving average and then measures uh, two standard deviations above and below that average. The pink line is the plus two standard deviation Bollinger Band, the gray line is the 20-day moving average, and the green line is the negative two standard deviation line. If you subscribe to the Bollinger Theory, price should remain within the bands 95% of the time. When those bands contract and get very narrow, the volatility in price is low. And when Bollinger Bands compress into what we call the Bollinger Band squeeze, a breakout out of, out of those periods tends to be a very good signal for, for people to take a look at. And when price breaks out above or below a band, like it broke out below right here, it suggests that a new trend is beginning. We're strong believers that when currencies tend to trend, that trend is sustainable and continuous. And you always want to be on the side of the trend when you're trading currencies. The common mistake that most people make is that when prices break out of a volatility squeeze is that they tend to always what we call fade the move. They, want to, they think that the prices will come right back in, into, into a low volatility environment. When in fact, the truth is much more likely to the opposite side, that when volatility breaks out, it tends to have continuation. Traders use Bollinger Bands to identify support and resistance and to generate buy and sell signals. If you subscribe to the fact that uh, price will trade in between the bands 95% of the time, then you're likely to sell the security when it gets to plus two standard deviations and buy it if it gets to negative two standard deviations. Bollinger Bands can be used with other technical indicators such as the Direction Movement Index, DMI, to measure the strength and direction of a trend. Thanks for watching Bloomberg, The Educated Investor. I'm Carol Biaggi. Bloomberg Educated Investor is brought to you by DBFX from Deutsche Bank.